Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here. Just let you know about the new features in version 1.1 of Cohort Manager. Now, before we jump into the features, I just wanted to point out that we've got this newly revamped knowledge base, which you can access via the plugin. And you have links like this within it. And this has lots of information around getting started and a few of the other things that we're just about to chat through. So one of the new features that we've added in version 1.1 is the option to translate the plugin to different languages. So the plugin is now fully translatable via tools like PoEdit or Local Translate. And on this translation page, we've got full instructions to show you how to do this. We've also added a number of actions and filters that developers can use to look into Cohort Manager's functionality and perhaps automate things or have custom functionality that is based off Cohort Manager's own actions. So for example, we've got actions when the cohort, a workflow is updated and interaction is deleted, ways to filter recipients of emails and email subjects and things like that. So these, this is mainly for developers and just opens up the plugin to be a lot more flexible. And one of the new things we've added is two new types of interaction. So if we head into a workflow that we have set up here, we've now got two new ones. We can enroll a group onto a course or we can unenroll a group from a course. So what you might have is a workflow on a course and after a certain period of time, you want to enroll that group onto another course or unenroll them from the course. So let's just have a look at the options here. We can say, I want to enroll this group onto a course and we'll say, we want that to happen at the end of March at three o'clock. And we just select which course we want to enroll them onto and then click update. And what that means is that on the 31st of March, at five o'clock at uh, three o'clock this group eco water learners would be enrolled onto this new course likewise we can also unenroll them from courses and we do this in the same way we could say unenroll the group from a course on the 5th of april at three o'clock and perhaps we want to un unenroll them from any of these courses even the one we're actually editing here so maybe that's the point that they've finished the course and we want to take them back off it. We can add this and then click update. And on the 5th of April at three o'clock, this group would be unenrolled from the Healthy Eating for Health Live course. So we hope you find this useful and we hope that the new knowledge base is a great place for you to find any more information about the plugin. And as always, if you have any questions or want to contact support, right up here on the knowledge base, feel free to get in touch with us.